So we are at Longfield Davidson Heights in Nepean. A bunch of students here have walked out. Uh, they are opposed to indoctrination happening in their schools. So let's go see what's going on. Honestly, don't care if they're Okay. Yeah. But like the problems are men are, are going to the women's bathroom while they're fixing their hijabs and everything and it's not giving like them privacy or anything like that. You know? Yeah, that's not right yeah. at all. Uh, what grade are you guys in? Uh, nine. Nine? nine. Oh. Wow. That that gives me a lot of hope. Thank you for being here. I've that's awesome. For this. Do you also have a child <laughs> in this or do you have a student in this school also? I, I don't but I'm I was a teacher before and then I kinda got cancelled so I'm now I'm like Did you get cancelled because of your, your views? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So basically I said that we shouldn't indoctrinate There's kids with Jen. critical race theory. Oh do you know what critical race theory is? I, like I an, the I, whole black people are oppressed oh, white people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that whole My narrative. Had a so now like, gay, oh, whole, yeah. because you're like a, like a cis straight white male mm -hmm. that you have okay, an advantage over everybody. And I'm saying, yes, there are advantages, but we it's not like oh I'm better than you and I'm better like I'm but but I, I don't even I wouldn't even say there are advantages I no. think there's actually advantages to being in those groups today because you can like there's a lot so of easy. positions that Everyone's they only oh, hire now, immigration now people who are trying to come from another country people who have been waiting for years can't get in now you yeah. can say that I'm gay and they will let you write it oh nice That's people not that are and these are people that actually have families that need to come across. That's another, you know, yeah. that's another big thing. But I, what I wanted to ask you, actually, so since you were a teacher, I yeah. feel like, because I know a lot of teachers that have no choice, you know, like the ones that they can maybe disagree, yeah. but they kind of have to go with, like, the narrative and whatnot. And I feel like a lot of the teachers are also being very under... Oh, yeah, they can't speak their mind at all. And that's not I, fair. I get that's messages a, yeah. from, like, teachers almost every day being, like, I don't know how longer, how much longer I can stay in this. I can't speak my mind at all. Yeah, like, yeah. and and it's true. Like the second they say fair, anything, yeah. they're gonna have a target on well, their I back. I tell parents sometimes. I'm like, don't always put pressure on the teachers yeah. because the teachers are at a point where they can't always control what's going on. I have a question for you guys. Um, of your teachers, how many of them would you say are radicals? Like, what I percentage? Laugh. Like, yeah, like um, that, like actively push this. Oh, oh, out of my teachers that I have right now, I would think all of them. We're not doing this to like cancel LGBTQ or like anything hateful. Yeah. It's just we, you can make universal bathrooms. We're fine. We don't like, you can be, you can be part of the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. We're not really gonna care. We're gonna live our lives and how we just don't want like this whole situation where women, a biological men, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. Well, good for you. I'm, uh... You with or without? I'm, I'm against the indoctrination, Allah. for sure. There's, a. Uh... Yeah. Is she right on the board? Um, um reli I I religion. Religion. religion does not, uh, freedom of religion does not mean freedom of, hate, like, hate speech, but you're not hate yeah. speech. Nobody's, in nobody's speech. Speech. She, she made it today, like, we're supposed to have English right now, she made today, like, a, a mandatory class thing so that everybody has oh. to go, but we still came out. And you guys still are out here, that's awesome. And your parents support you? Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> to learn math and English and all that stuff, not Absolutely. to learn all that stuff. Absolutely. I, I have no hate with them, I, I, I don't support them, but I respect them. And ultimately, everybody wants the same thing. Yeah. They want to feel safe and respected, and they also want to feel comfortable. Like, they're not even allowed to feel uncomfortable, because if they say I'm uncomfortable, Mommy. you're a bigot. You're yeah. a homophobe. That's not fair either. Like I said, I, I was telling you, I was born here. I've been here forever. I've had teachers. They were all gay. They were one of my favorite teachers, were, but it never affected our relationship. Why? Because it was her business in the end, what she does. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I don't know why we even have to divide kids into all these groups anyway. Like, what's the point? Why do we? Why are we always talking about race and sexuality yeah. and stuff? It really doesn't matter. Nobody bullying cares. Bullying is bullying. Do you that, agree yeah. with that? I, oh, yeah. Bullying is bullying. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter what, what it is. Facts don't care about your feelings. Summatives. They, a lot of, my son has a summative too. Yeah. And I asked me, I'm like, well, this is your right, so why not? Yeah, yeah. you choose. There's a, I, yeah, I asked my parents. I was like, oh, she made it mandatory. There's a quiz today and everything. Yeah. And she, my parents were like, just go. Everyone has a right to peaceful protest. Good for you, man. Anything. Oh, are these some of your teachers over there? Yeah, these are like, some like principals, teachers, uh, guidance counselors, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, with the pride flag on her shirt. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys here to support the students or? Pardon me. Just here. Just here watching. You work at the school? Yeah. Okay. If if there were people, if if a whole bunch of like of people that are supporting uh, uh like of 
um, of like gay rights and stuff came out here and did the same thing we're doing, mm -hmm. then then we have no problem. That is your 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 right to to protest, yeah. but please do not force me to agree with it. Yeah. Or, like do not to support it. Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I can have my opinion, and if you can have your opinion, please let me have mine. Like, yeah, me personally, yeah. I waited till I, I did my exam, I did my exam, I'm done all my schoolwork, I'm here. Nice. But like... And uh, your parents, uh, my parents support you? My parents, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, my sister is gay, which is fine, I respect her, but she does like... She does her own thing. She doesn't tell me about it, like, yeah. and that's fine. I don't tell her about my girlfriends and what we do. That's just normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like <laughs> be normal. Like, <laughs> What do you think of all this? I think that people that are transitioning should not be allowed to be in our bathrooms. It's uncomfortable. And for the Muslim women, they should not be have they should not have to look over their shoulders to think, oh, Am, it, can I t can I have my hijab yeah. down? Yeah. Like men and men should not be allowed to be in girls' bathrooms. Are you a teacher here or? Yeah, I'm not oh. A teacher. oh, okay. <laughs> but we it's have to still to be kind to everyone. Everyone's we're, still we're, a person inside, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not too much. If, if you want to be gay, be gay. Yeah. But just don't. We're just saying, don't push it push down, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Is there any hate here, you think? There's no hate. It's just like. Just, like don't go into our bathroom. Who are you with? Are you just by yourself? Or what? Yeah, I'm by myself. I, um, I was a high school teacher for a couple years. Are you? Uh, no, I was in Barry. And then at one point on social media, I said that. Um, kids shouldn't be indoctrinated with critical race theory, which is like telling them that like black people are oppressed and whatever. And somebody reported me, like a teacher reported me, and then I got suspended and all of this stuff. So grade ten, yeah, we have grade nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is this, does this school start at grade seven? Or oh, okay, the person said this all grade nine. Oh, okay, okay, nice. You guys want to tell me uh, why you're here? I'm just kind of going around oh, yeah. Some... you feel like oh i posted that that's me yeah oh my god you're the former teacher what brings you guys here um arabs being forced to learn about lgbtq stuff and uh i don't want biological guys in the girls bathroom what brings you here is it for tv I'm, I'm on twitter um but yeah you can find me on twitter I guess I'm just curious, um, like, what what is happening in your school? What motivates you to be so, here? I've seen at least two women who are just like men, acting men, into the boys' washroom, and I can see that I can tell the women, and I don't feel I don't feel I don't feel, I don't feel confident. I mean, comfortable yeah. seeing them come because us boys we in privacy too. Maybe because in privacy, but us boys have privacy too. So we don't need uh, these biological women to enter our washroom too. As our sisters in grade seven and grade eight, who men were into and that for our religion, it's really, it's really it's bad, right? It's really bad, yeah. It's really bad. So we, we came out here today to, uh, to, uh, uh, to show up and tell this is wrong and uh, not to do it again, you know? And the thing is, yeah, like, even if you I, wanna... like, like this guy, I actually agree with this guy. Like, even I was scared to like, come here because like, I don't... Like, I don't want to be seen as homophobic or I don't want to be seen but as somebody. Aren't. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be seen as somebody who's like super against LGBT yeah. people yeah, yeah, and yeah. everything like that. But like, yeah. Yeah, like, I was scared to come here because like, yeah. I don't want to be seen as that. I'm not, don't that's, be not, that's not what I'm doing. I'm not you know what though? Anything. I don't know who did the group, the Students for Change group, but you guys did a really good job by saying we do not stand yeah, for hate. We stand for yeah. love. Yeah. And we, we want to accept everyone. We just yeah. don't, we want to be free to have our own thoughts about yeah. stuff right like we don't want our um, religion to this is a peaceful change. protest we actually yeah. have to vandalize yeah, or like speak that. hate speech i don't know who yeah. did this who did yeah. is there any hate I, towards I, the lgbt no, community no, no, here no, no. they've been here for years and years to come and we just hate to find our religion because they're pushing their belief onto us that's yeah. something they're mistaken there's no hate here i'm not even gonna lie i wanted to just go home like I, as i was here you know learning what's happening actually mm -hmm. they're just mistaking what we're out here for what you're about yeah they're, you know, they're taking it as hate as we don't like them and we want them out of the schools but 
honestly, it's just um, the way they're forcing themselves on us. Mm -hmm. It's just um, there's a lot of pressure. No, yeah. we're not ready for that. Yeah. You can see, there's 125 LGBTQ flags in the school. And I took every single. Really? Yes, I took every single picture of them. If you want to see, like, like how many the, Canadian flags are there? There's, there's, there's one two. Oh, there's, one, look, look, there's, there's one big one look. and then two small ones. Good grief! Look, it keeps going on. There's 125 gay flags. And I took pictures. Okay, can I? Can, see? can you? Show? Okay. Look at this. Yes. 125. Are you yes, yeah. They removed the. Wow. <laughs> oh it keeps going on and on. It's not stop. And in my classroom, in my classroom, there is. Uh, in my classroom, there is. Uh, in my class, there's at least 25 gay flags. So. What grade are you in? 11. 11. Yeah. And you guys? Grade 11. And, and uh, today, this morning. I just don't understand a thing. We're yeah. here as a free country. We have our rights and everything, but they're not. They're forcing us this uh, this idea. Like mm -hmm. everybody's okay. Like, but like we're all born into a gender. This gender is gender. I have respect in this. Yeah. yeah. Boys yeah. and girls. They're yeah. called but boys and girls. But they can't force the belief into us. Yeah. 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 We have our own stuff. We have our own ideas. Yeah. But I have no hate in them. Like they're so people too. You know, they're so humans. Today? They're still humans. Good for you. But so don't force is, the idea on us. Yeah. So this morning, we came out of school and they started giving out gay flags with the stickers. This morning we came in and they started clapping and I, I think they put me The teachers or the students? The, and the teachers and the students. They knew Are they you they they Yes. So they knew that we we're going to do a protest. So they put gay flags they put, they put gay flags in the, in the uh, entry hall and they started giving out stickers. They didn't see anyone in there and there's like, there's gay flags, there's gay stickers everywhere. This is a, this is the counter protest over here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people over there. You know, you, you know, Billboard Chris, right? Yeah. So I was talking to him yesterday on Twitter, and uh, we were talking. So yesterday on the announcement, they basically went on about a five-minute rant on how uh, bullying, the, or sorry, uh, harassing and bullying the gay people will eventually lead to suicide and self-harm, which is first off so bullshit, like out of my mind mm -hmm. um they were saying that uh, the, the lgb is the biggest minority lgb is the biggest people on the streets lgb is like the worst treated people in the country i just think that's bullshit i think yeah. that people need to get their heads out of their asses and realize <laughs> that like bro just <laughs> fuck off like we don't care like just be gay in your own room we high five for that yeah. when i was listen when i was 10 years old I wanted to go to space. <laughs> right now, I'm 17. I'm happy where I'm at. I have a car. I have food. I have a home. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I, I'm blessed. Yes. So when you're, when when a, when someone who's young, who's who hasn't experienced everything, who's still developing, who's still learning, obviously someone who's 10, 9, 11, they're gonna they're gonna say some things. Maybe they don't mean. Maybe they're. They may not understand. They may not. Okay, this morning, the, uh, the, 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 the teachers knew that they, uh, there was a protest. So all of them, they came with the gay flags on, on the shirts. <laughs> if you go in there right now, you see every single teacher will have a gay flag on the shirt. Because they know we're going to do a protest. Wow. And they're trying, to, they're trying to go against us. But they're not saying they are. They, they even told me today, don't go to the protest. They told my friend not to go to the protest. They said it's waste of time and stuff. Okay. <laughs> What'd she say? No, I don't have anything wrong about you being like somebody being gay. Yeah, like or gay, 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 anything like that. It's when people like just like push it and push it like to you and against you, like always yeah. like, push yeah. it in your face and whatever. Like that's a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially this month and this year, they first they forced us upon us to, to wait too much. Yeah. And if you see like uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, apparently they have right to uh, they have rights to speak, but we don't. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. Hello, you're staff from the school, right? From you. You're staff at the school. How do you know? I'm not. Oh, actually. just because you were standing over oh, there. I'm not staff. I am you're, OCD as but not this school. Not this oh, okay. school. Yeah. Okay. And do you support and the you, students are you, here? Are you uh, staff here? I uh, no. No, no, what's your name? I'm just, I, my name is Chanel. Yeah, I thought you were just filming kinda, me. Yeah. Why? Oh, well, we're in a public spot. I've been filming for the last 35 minutes. Yeah, this is a problem. Yeah. You don't, yeah, well. I'm, I'm gay. I want you, uh, or like, you have to support me. You have to wear the flag. As a Muslim, it's my responsibility to say, 
I don't mind. You know, like I'm, I'm okay with you doing whatever. We're in Canada. This country has its own set of laws. But my life, my uh, worldviews and my beliefs say that I cannot condone behavior and I cannot condemn. I'm not the judge. I'm just someone who lives his own life. That's why I think I I can't speak for everyone. I'd say maybe like if I, if I threw some like 70 percent of the people there. What they're trying to say is, look, we want to go to school, I want to learn math, I want to learn English, I want to know how to do taxes, I want to learn how to run and jump and play and have fun. <laughs> but I don't want to, like, they don't want to learn, we don't want to learn political views. Like, I don't, if I go to school, I don't want you to tell me why uh, liberals are better than conservatives or people's parties better than the, than the Green Party. I don't want to learn any of that. I don't want to learn. As a teacher who starts saying that eating pork is okay in Jewish scripture, and then proceeds to have a, you know, a, a class barbecue with pork mm -hmm, and forces mm -hmm. Jewish students to say, right? That, that would be mm -hmm. a little anti-Semitic. So hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna respond, right? The second thing is you're right. We're not, we're, we're, we're not, we're not forcing anybody against anything, right? And you said human rights. Everybody has the freedom. So if people have, the, if students have the freedom to not partake in LGBTQ events or uh, classes because, because of. Mahmoud controlled the food, controlled the food because of because of our uh, religious, you know, beliefs and values. And I think we have that right, as you mentioned, yeah. to not participate and we should not receive any discriminatory comments from teachers. I, right? I, I'm gay myself, okay, and I stand with Thank these you. guys hundred percent. And the reason is I'm tired of it being shoved down our throats all the time. I we uh, oh I've been filming for the last thirty eight minutes. I'm just looking at what's going on. Um, I don't need to have you on if you don't want. Um, I think we are dividing kids into groups all the time and it's only causing more division. You just have to treat people as individuals, not as groups, right? That's, that's, I think that's what we're saying. Yes, that's what we're here. That's what we're doing. As human beings, yeah, we agree, man. Like, do you think it's right for a Muslim student or a Christian student who doesn't want to partake to have that option to not partake because of religious beliefs the same way a Jewish student has the option to not participate in a pork rib barbecue class? I believe everyone yeah. has a right yeah. to what they that's believe. What, that's all we but I also believe that Good. people have comfortability, right? Right. right? So if someone isn't comfortable with the sexuality, I believe that they have a right to kind of, you know, move on from the situation. Either speak up, but speak up in a way where it's appropriate. It's not yeah. Criminalizing anyone. Yeah. 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 Good. Thank you. Exactly. Thank I'm, you. You're awesome. I'm. I'm with the trans community. I'm with the gay community. I'm with the lesbian community. I'm with the bi community. I'm with the queer community. I'm with the trans community. I'm with the trans community. I'm with the gay community. I'm with the bi community. I'm with the straight community. I'm with I have friends of all kinds. I have trans friends. I don't care. My. It's just that kids are in school to be educated, right? Not to be. Sh not to be forced to think of a certain way. So you guys are only in grade eight. Is that grade nine? Grade seven. Grade seven. Grade nine. Grade nine. Wow. Huh. But you always support what we do. Yeah, I mean, you're never too young to voice your opinion yeah, on something, exactly. right? I'm so, not against it, but I also believe that there is a maturity level yeah. that people have to be at to be able to make that decision. Oh, 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 oh. A 12 year old can't make that decision. Oh, oh, oh. Even yeah. if they believe it, that's yeah. why they yeah. like it. Because I know a lot of people who have transitioned <laughs> who later on down the road end up being becoming depressed. It doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah. But it means that that decision needs to be made when people when they're are, older when they're developed exactly, but i'm not saying yeah. there and i'm not yeah. hating on yeah. the trans yeah. or no. gay or anything but i am saying it's out of concern it's more than concern, anything and it's also parents need to have a conversation with their children mm -hmm. <laughs> i think i'm like joe and i'm about to know because i think there's people like eight seven years old think they're gay but i don't have anything wrong with that but you're so young you haven't like you haven't developed you haven't been over yet yeah i agree like there's some transgender like guys turning into girls going into the washroom like my friends are hijabi like her hair can't show really like biologically, you're a guy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. How many kids are in your school? Like over 2,000. Over 2,000. Okay, this is this is a pretty yeah. decent amount, though, what? that came out. Like, no, there's way more. Just yeah. Like oh, okay. Like, I get it that all the teachers yeah. are trying to like, accept everyone and make them feel comfortable. But I feel like, like <laughs> I don't know, they like, we shouldn't let, let trans people go into like women or men's washroom. That's when they're gender neutral yeah. bathrooms for them to Sorry. use. Because not everyone feels comfortable about that, especially when you're like Muslim. In your culture, you don't like you respect it, but like you don't really believe in it, right? Yeah, it's it's just to a next level now. And to say that gay people are oppressed and all that, it's first of all, it's not true. Like we're completely fine in Canada. We have the same rights as everyone else, and 
at the end of the day, if you accept them that much, why are you causing that division, right? Just treat them normal. Just treat them like like everyone else, and then we won't have a problem. But... Oppression of someone's sexuality. Oppression. Yeah. Oppression. Okay. She's gonna call you mom. Huh? Let her call her. 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 Let Guys, guys, one side, one side, one side. Okay, I'm this, I'm that. You know how much there is at my school? There's people pushing it. There is. There was nobody like that. It's all because it's a trend. People want all these things to be different. I just have one question. So we agreed that like homophobia is the oppression of someone, right? Oppression of someone who identifies as being Anyone with any kind of sexuality is oppressed. Oh, oh, I'm not oppressed though. I'm gay and I'm not oppressed. There are some people Some people. That's the why don't we treat people? Why don't we pe treat people as individuals? That's the thing. I'm I'm a big guy. I'm six one. I'm I'm big, right? Let's say there's like a four foot eleven, five foot woman who wears the niqab, hijab, wears any covering or dressing, and she doesn't feel comfortable when there's a six foot two. Uh, I'm not. Can you help me out? I don't know the term I can for when a girl. Where you're like, coming from because every, everyone has boundaries. That's, everyone has comfortability. Yeah. Let, let me finish. Right? Though. So, can you just help me out? What's the term for like if a guy uh, who's let's say he's bigger than me, six foot two, okay? He and he wants to be a, a woman now, okay? So, what would the term for that be? I just want to address it properly so I don't get anyone upset. I would honestly be that person wanting to transition, transition. To okay. into the gender that they would want to transition into. So, if there's a four foot eleven Nakabi yeah. who covers, veils to yeah. keep herself, keep her body in modesty, yeah. like for her own, her own, her own life, right? It's a part of religion. It's, it's right? her, not just her religion, it's her, no, of it's her, it's her beliefs. Yeah. So, if she felt uncomfortable when there's a six foot two oh my god that's pretty big that's bigger than me Whoa. if there's a big guy just, you know you, you see him you see him walking into the stalls wait wait wait, wait don't laugh i'm being serious if there's a big guy would it be considered uh transphobic if you if you felt really unsafe like if i was if i was like this and some guy was like this and i'm trying to use i want when is I use that the transphobic? When yeah, I okay, use the is washroom, that, I want it to be. Feeling like, unsafe I'm, is like, not transphobic, but okay. where it becomes transphobic is okay. showing a certain gender hate. This is the this is the anti hate you, inclusive crowd right here yelling at a kid who is in grade what? Because what did he say? Grade ten. Because so an adult yelling at a grade ten student because he is pro inclusion yeah, and guys, pro you know, love. You know what he said? Tell me about your views. Yes. He just told me that gay people should be all in their own schools. No, 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 no. Is that what you said? No, no, no. Oh, okay. What did you say? You said I said it. I said it. Uh, don't get too close there. I'm not. Yeah, just, just take a little back. So what did you say? A hijabi woman don't have their hijab in the washroom. Yes. And a man who says he's a woman yeah. walks inside. Yeah. Right. He's gonna see the woman without her hijab. Oh, so it wasn't even about gay. Oh, you didn't even the school thing. That was pretty bad. I hope he doesn't work here. Does he work here? No, I don't. Oh, thank God. Look at this grown adult acting like a child. Oh boy, that's pretty sad. I feel very included.